Uh, ending in scoreless ties after multiple rounds. <laughs> Anybody else? Anyone back here? Okay, I do, have, you I do have a question. You have a question, yes. Is this the PM so version or is this the daytime version? I have to think because of the, of the composition uh, of our audience, we can say this is the match game PM version, the late night. You can even consider the R-rated version if you like, although personally I think the, the other is, is more fun, but it's up to you. This is the uncensored version, if you wish. Oh, yes, that's something. That's the Thursday, yes, that's part of the match game lore. Gene Rayburn actually lived in New York and flew out to Los Angeles and filmed, I believe, you know, like a week, yeah, a, a, week, week a, a week a day. You do five shows a day. You have three shows. The first three shows of the week were done in the morning, and then the, the people would go out for a nice long free martini lunch and come back to the Thursday show, which is why if you ever watched it first run as it was sent, the Thursday show seemed a little bit wilder. <laughs> And the Friday show even more so. Okay, we have all of, we have all the potential panelists. Let's find out who our first two contestants are. Lisa. Well, Kevin, what we would like to invite up front is Felicia Herman. And John Bradley. Felicia, you here. Move the flowers, please. Okay, another thing about the lower lore of the show that Julian very rarely saw on the show was that when the contestants rotated on, there were actually cards stuck into the side of their lecterns that had their names. That's the way, that way Gene could know who they were. I have a similar thought. Especially on Thursday. Especially on Thursday, yes. All right, let's move along. Let's get this first game underway. Felicia, uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Don't lean away, honestly, the microphone won't pick you up. At worst, I'll touch the front of your mask. Okay. I'm Felicia Herman, I'm from St. Paul, I'm married to Seth Breitbart, and uh, been involved with this fandom since 1974. All right, thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, and John. John Bradley, very very lovely to be late, believe it or not right now. I've been going to Western Ponds for a good long time. And this is the second time I've been in this chair. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to the stage. Felicia. Yeah, we had enough time to experiment with that. Okay, we'll work we're we'll walking out. Felicia, you were drawn first. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I have a technical issue here. I see what happened. He's facing his fly. <laughs> There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, that, that way, hopefully, this piece down here doesn't collapse. Okay, let's try that again. Felicia, you were the first contestant called, and therefore you go first in round one. You have the choice of A or B. I'll go with B. B. In the first round, all panelists play. Albert Einstein said, God does not play dice with the universe. However, he does sometimes play blank with it. Einstein said, God does not play dice with the universe. However, he does sometimes play blank with it. Don't answer, I'll come back to you as you know. Did you think about what they might be doing? Is everybody ready? Okay. Okay. Einstein said, God does not play nice with the universe. However, he does play blank with it. D&D. He does play D&D with it. All right. Let me see now. Okay. I got to watch out. I'm going to keep the Welcome to our stage, our guest of honor, Kevin Andrew Murphy. <laughs> Kevin, how has Mr. Cone been treating you so far? Quite nicely. I don't know where that. I don't know where it is. There's somewhere along the way. There's a loose wire. I apologize, apologize everyone, for the static. Okay. Well, Kevin, uh, what do you think God does to the universe sometimes? Plays poker. He plays poker. Wild card poker. I'm sure he does. All right. 
Andy, a long time returning. Yeah. What? How's your answer? Well, you don't know until you've actually shown the cards. Strip poker. <laughs> and in the case of the too many Kevins, let's go to Kevin Roach. Doctor. He plays a doctor. <laughs> oh. All right, Maggie, welcome to the show. By the way, you've not been on our stage before. Could you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, well, my name's Maggie Novacusco, first Western Town I went to was 30 in Vancouver. And Bob Silverberg came up out of the drug in California and told everybody that he flushed the toilet three times when he walked into his hotel room. Well, how about that? Okay, how do you think uh, God does play the universe? Well, I don't just mean anything to anybody else, but I did doodlebug. Doodlebug! Alright, same thing. Michelle, you've never been on our panel before. No. Why don't you introduce yourself? Um, I am Michelle Weisblatt Dane. I am a second generation fan. I'm running next year's WesterCon, so you all are coming to Anaheim. Yay! How did you fill in this? Games! Games, not close enough to DD, too generic. <laughs> and Lynn, Lynn Gold, welcome back to our stage. Last chance to match in round one. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. <laughs> well, don't worry. That's only round one. You'll have another chance later. All right. John? Oh, sorry. I don't have to ask you for a choice. You have no choice. You play question A. Everybody, everybody plays. Did you hear about the cross-eyed vampire? Oh. Did you hear about the cross-eyed vampire? After he subdued his latest victim, he missed her throat and bit her blank. The cross-eyed vampire, after he subdued his latest victim, he missed her throat and bit her blank. Are you thinking about what you think about this? They're thinking about this. Well, that's what I was hearing. Thank you. I wondered. Okay. Yeah. One to go. We got it? All right. Did you hear about the cross-eyed vampire after he subdued his latest victim? He missed her throat and bit her boob. Her boob! Okay. How did he know to move? So, Kevin, what do you think? Oh, yes, right. So, 
Uh, at, at the beginning of round two, the contestant who is in the lead gets the first choice. So, John, you have choice A or B. A. All right, in this round, everybody except Michelle and Lynn plays. We have all these choices. The carnivorous alien said, I had to give up eating earthlings. My doctor said they gave me blank. The carnivorous alien said I had to give up eating earthlings. The doctor said they give me blank. Are you sure what that is? What the question is, right? Okay. It's okay. To, it's okay for panelists to help each other if they wish. Good on the top, top level, so one to go, maybe. All right, fine, there we go, we got everybody. All right, the, the carnivorous alien said, I had to give up my eating earthlings. My doctor said they gave me gas. Gave me gas, okay. Well, I'm sure all of our users can use some gas. Oh, that's a different kind of gas. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, Kevin. They gave me gout. Gout. <laughs> Andy. COVID. <laughs> Alas. Kevin. Gout. Or gout. Okay. Maggie's the last one in this round. Maggie. I've got gas. Gas. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, stop that. Well, that's a third match, so yeah, yeah. But John is happy she's got gas. <laughs> well, okay. Well, that means round two question. Felicia, uh, you will have to match at least three to tie or to win. You get question B and everybody plays. I'm so sorry. Oh, I know she was doing an event tonight. Adrian the Ghost Chaser. Oh. Adrian the Ghost Chaser. Uh, oh, and this question is sponsored by, figured out, uh, the uh, Western Pound 74. I wonder why. Uh, Adrian the Ghost Chaser loves staying in the Ms. Paws Hotel's haunted lady in red room. She was amazed that the ghostly lady wore a red blank. The ghostly lady in the red, the lady in the red room, she, she was amazed that the ghostly lady wore a red blank.
But nobody goes away empty-handed on our show. Nobody, sorry, nobody goes away empty-handed on our show. We uh, have a number of consolation prizes, some of which are starting to run out. So at your convenience, go up to the prize table and see Judy about for your prize. Uh, and everybody always receives a lovely party gift. And, and by the way, these are the only way you can get these is by doing this. So thank you for being a contestant. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I did not put down the marker. Uh, Scott, I need the tape. Bring the tape out here, and I think what I want, yeah. if you put an X about right there, somewhere nearly around there, any of there in this area is good. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if, you, if the angle is just right when you're watching this on TV, you can see the marker mm -hmm. that is out there. Okay, you stand on the X and face. Well, first of all, we'll do. All right. This is the first bonus round question, and that means all six contestants have bonus prizes. Hold up your envelopes, folks. All right. You get to decide who you're going to do a one question answer match to for, for a prize. Who would you like to play with? Lynn, hold up your envelope and tell us what it is that you're playing for. That we're playing for it is. A brand new. No. So Google Home Mini! Lisa? Oh! 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 Oh!
Yeah. Oh. Okay, thank you for your patience there. Of course, in the real show, they would be, when they went to commercial break, the web. production assistance took all of this stuff. But this is a handcrafted artisanal game show. So oh, that's how we go. And we make no bread out of it. <laughs> that's true. Oh. We'll talk later. That's, a, that, that's a new one, isn't it? Yeah, good. <laughs> all right. Um, so we're on again. <laughs> what time is it? Here. So 732, yes. Uh, we have time, we certainly have time to play the next game. Who are our next yeah. two contestants? All right, Kevin. Let's jo uh, have John Spence join us. Okay, John. This is another one. And how about Randy Grove? Randy! Well, okay, cards. Well, John, Randy, welcome to our stage. John, introduce yourself and tell us a bit about yourself. Well, my name is John Spence. I'm a retired stage manager now living in Santa Fe. And this is my, I guess, second Western. Welcome to the stage. And I hope that, I hope that our technical bubbles here don't, aren't too embarrassing. So, <laughs> Randy. Hi, my name is Randy Grove. I'm from Granada Hills, California. Hi, everybody. Love you. Okay, welcome to the show. Okay, well, John, you were drawn first, so you get the first choice, A or B. A. All scores are reset. Everybody plays. Oh, you folks will be so happy with this question. Dumb Dora was so dumb. How dumb was she? Oh, I love an audience that knows how to pick up their cues. <laughs> She thought the Stargate was for blank. Dumbdora was so dumb, she thought the Stargate was for blank. I have appeared in a version of, I have been a contestant on a stage version of Match Game, and uh, the, uh, the hostess told me the stage whisper, we're going to dance on the next question. And we did. So, we got everybody? Oh, well, that was quick. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Dumbdora was so dumb, she thought the Stargate was for her cat. Her cat? Her cat. cat. Dumbdora thought the Stargate was for her cat. Okay, it's a round one question. Don't worry about it, Kevin. The Oscars. The Oscars. <laughs> Patrick Starr. <laughs> Kevin, flushing dead Babel fish. <laughs> Dumbdora thought the Stargate was for? Getting autographs. Getting autographs, the Stargate. OK, that's logical. Sorry, I took the other animal, dogs. Dogs. Oh, good. Lynn. Celebrities. Celebrities. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Round one questions are usually pretty hard. So, Brandy, you get the B question and everybody plays. Well, <clears throat> Westercon Chair Kevin Stanley said. Now that's a change. <laughs> I see the con suite staff have been getting really creative with their budget. I just saw blank on the snack table. Con Chair Kevin Stanley said, I see you. The, the, the Con Suite staff have been getting really creative with their budget. I just saw a blank on the snack table. Seriously, folks, let's give it up for the people who have been running hospitality in here. Yes. They are, they are good folks and they've been working very hard. And I, I, I owe my AD back for moving in the dozens of boxes of the biggest grocery bill I ever paid yesterday over at Rayleigh's, or the day before yesterday over at Rayleigh's. Did you do we did do pre-orders? We did do pre-orders, thank you, yes. Okay, all set? Yes, I'm glad they were giving out double points. All right, Randy, uh, 
Western Con Chair Kevin Stanley said, uh, the Con Suite staff have been getting creative with their budget. I just saw a blank on the snack table. Caviar. Caviar. Well, that would be very creative. What's it? That would be creative for budget. It would be a creative budget. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll find out. Okay, Kevin. Pheasant under glass. Pheasant under glass. Am I right, Lisa, that's one of the things you kept using as an example of what we would not be doing? Yeah. <laughs> Andy. Winter is coming. Ice white ice sculptures. <laughs> Kevin. Peter Davison. Guy to the, to the oh, galaxy. Oh, I've never read how many people have got this, but Meatloaf! Meatloaf! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Lynn? Dog food! Dog food! Oh, that's not a good trend for you. Alright! Well, it's a very hard fought game, and it'll be in round one. The score is tied! Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, in that case, since, uh, John, since you went first in round one, Maggie, you go first in round two. A or B? Um, B. B. Everybody plays. Wonder Woman said to her son, it's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of a son. Now shut up and put on your black. <laughs> Wonder Woman said to her son, it's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of a son. Now shut up and put on your black. By the way, this is an actual question from the real broadcast match game. We know this because it appeared on, on a, a site. Gary Burkhoff was one of the panelists. <laughs> We're all set? Everybody out. Okay. Wonder Woman said to her son, it's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of a son. Now shut up and put on your skirt. Your skirt. Okay, skirt. Kevin, looking for skirts here. Your tiara. Your tiara. Okay. Andy? I gotta go classical green. Girdle. Your girdle. Yeah. Tiara. 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 Okay. Tiara. Another tiara. Hey, do, do wait till I come to you before you reveal for Corset. Your corset. <laughs> I got the Get a quarter for it. Lynn? The other end, wrong. You're wrong! Okay. This one has a lot of easy answers, but perhaps it has too many easy answers. Okay. So, excuse me. It is the first, I think this is the first time I've done the show at 6,000 feet altitude. So, John, uh, you're, you play question A and everybody plays. Oh, we have another, it's another constant question. Yes. Sally the Smoth said, gee, fandom is really getting older. I was just in the con suite. I was just in the con suite, and instead of soda, they're serving blank. <laughs> Sally the Smoth said, gee, fandom is really getting older. I was just in the con suite, instead of soda, they're serving blank. Got an idea what you're doing? Older. 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 Yes. Phantom is getting real, getting older, just in the concrete, and we're and we're all good. All right, only need to match one of the dingalings to win the game. Sally the Smoth said, "Phantom is really getting older. If you'd like to come on through, please do so, even if I'm doing the game. That's fine." Um, actually, yes, you haven't registered with the issue, right? Uh, is Rick Kowalczyk here? We have to get back. back. He's not. We need to do. He has to do that first. And uh, the way we have to deal with that is somebody from the convention committee needs to do a back check, back check, and get the line on. Just a moment. I want to. I want to finish this. 
I'll deal with this after the game. If you hang about till the game is over, I can get you a night badge. There we go. Thank you. All right. Sorry about that. One of the hazards of setting up where we are. Okay. It's okay, they got it. Sally the said, gee, fandom is really getting older. I was just in the con suite, and instead of soda, they're serving Geritol. Geritol! Geritol, yes. I'm very glad anybody Back in the day, yes. Well, Kevin, what do you think? Geritol. Fruit juice. Geritol. Prunes, prunes, milk of magnesia. Well, Brandy, you, you did, you did try. I did. And, and, and there are, there are prizes to be given away. Uh, and uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't want to miss it. First round question. Tell you what, let's give you. In fact, uh, is the is the is the license plate still up there? Yes. We'll give you one of our bonus round bonus prizes that pop up here. Mm. Very appropriate to have at this convention. Mm. The ET Highway plate, courtesy of the Little Alien. In the in the Anybody here take the. Take the scenic route on the extraterrestrial highway. Not this time. Not this time, but it's the only place to eat along the whole ET highway. And the alien burger is pretty good. You win that as a bonus round prize. And also, a lovely party gift. Thank you. Thank you.
provide it to the municipality. We want to provide it to you. That's right. We hold it here. We don't hold. We don't want to hold it back. All right. Who are our next two contestants? Well, Kevin, let's bring up Amy Bradley. How about that? He is mixed. I see him mixing up the cards. <laughs> and and interestingly enough, Seth Breibar. <laughs> Thank you. 
You got everybody? Yes. Right. Looks like the transporter on the Enterprise is acting up again. Yesterday, Captain Kirk arrived on the planet's surface without his... It's so obvious, I have to say pants. Without his pants! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yes. All right. It would have ended up that way. Let's see. That's the best thing about pants. They can't actually see with the until they flip around and say the product. Kevin. Asteroid 
was on a course to hit the earth. He went out and bought a blank. I see you. Oh. <laughs> 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 Having been a contestant on stage, on, on stage with lights in my face, uh, I, I actually know it is a lot harder to be a contestant than it is to be the host. I have stood on stage and heard the question, I said that I'm thinking to myself, there's a great answer, I've heard it before and I have the foggiest idea what it was. All right, no, don't work on it, okay, don't work on it. Those of you who live in the Bay Area might be interested in knowing that the Three Below Theater, formerly the Retrodome, and some of you know the Three Below Theater because it was where the movie program for Worldcon 76 was held, they are doing a revival of their musical, Thanks for Playing the Game Show show. It's uh, been postponed to next season. Did they push the next season? Oh, well, now I know where I'm not going in September. Okay. However, it's a wonderful show, and I will be down there if I can. There's a wine kitchen. I There's a wine kitchen. Let, let, okay, we've got to fill out. I want to answer this. No, I want to answer. I want to hear this. You wrote a wine index, though. Yes, so I was the audience contestant in the production one day, and I had introduced myself. And it was I worked for a major uh, U.S. computer company, and in my spare time, I'm building a robot to create the perfect martini. And they loved it so much, they used it as one of their stock units. Oh, that's awesome. You, you wrote that, because I think I saw that later, because they, I know they, they updated the script on the fly, basically. Yes, all right. Yeah, that would be you. It, it's good, yes. <laughs> well, they did use one from me and Lisa. I know I'm delaying things, but uh, we, uh, I suggested to them that they should throw in that the, cont the contestant was from uh, Radium Springs, New Mexico. Yay! However, however, that was a bit too obscure for the game. It was a good game show reference if you know New Mexico place names, yep. but they did actually do it in the form of, and our next contestant is currently from San Jose, California, and originally from Truth and Consequences, New Mexico. You know, so. So anyway, so where we go? Yes, right. It's it's mall marker twenty on I on I I twenty five, Radium Springs. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, you, thanks for derailing me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. All right. Ask the contestant something. Ask the thank you. That's the next step. Follow the formula, he says. Yes. That's why I don't normally digress during the show. Uh, you're going to need to match three to continue. Now Donald was so dumb when he heard that the, an asteroid was on course to hit the Earth, he went out and bought a... Target. A target! <laughs> a target! Okay, we need, we need three targets to say at least three targets. A tennis racket. A tennis racket. <laughs> a catcher's net. <laughs> <laughs> anything else to continue? A case of preparation eight. <laughs> Yes. You know where the prizes come from? You get your lovely party gift to join your collection of them at this point now. And our and our thanks for playing a good sport. Thanks for playing match game. Okay. Seth, join me out here. Seth Redbar, our winner. Okay. Seth, okay, everybody who has an unused prize envelope, please. Who would you like to play? Andy. Andy. Okay, now turn around and face me. Find out what the your prizes. Find out the prizes so I can read the sponsor intro. Maybe prizes. I'm not sure I can read this. No. Uh, the Ancient. The Ancient. Lisa? The Ancient. A signed first edition of, edition of the Ancient by R.A. Salvatore, courtesy of Suki Systems. Estimated retail value of this prize, $25. Okay. Just one, yes, just what he needs, more books. All right. 
Okay, once again, quiet in the audience, no, no calling out. Wait till I come back to you. An exact match on Captain Blank. Captain Blank. Captain Blank. Yay! Yay! 
Okay. It is actually very hard to put this on and put that on without a
they, they die of fright looking at their costume in a mirror. Right? <laughs> exactly. exactly. I was thinking the no-effort person, the two-headed alien. A two-headed alien. Right? Oh, I see some of the C6C serpent. That was what I think of, and no one <laughs> ever answered that that I recall. I mean, I'm careful. I never say anything until what I thought was a pair of lawyers. A pair of lawyers. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you will, you will play everybody except Maggie. You'll need to get at least one to tie. You have a question? No. Okay, one to tie, two to win. Jane Fan said. Jane Fan. Jane Fan said, as opposed to Joe Fan. This is Jane Fan. Jane Fan said, "Hey, what's a girl got to do to get a date at this Western Hunt? I was chatting up a fellow, and all he wanted to talk about was blank." Dean Fan said, What's a girl next to me today? This was the I was chatting with the fellow, and all the people talking about this line. Well, why don't you point it at the audience and say, and, 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 I'm just not used to having so much space to work with. It's amazing. Uh, Jane Pan said, what's a girl got to do to get a date at this restaurant? I was chatting up a fellow, and all he wanted to talk about was his new book. His new book! Yeah. That is a good answer. But, but, he, but he only has to find one, so let's find out, Kevin. Stranger Fame. I feel seen, but I don't I don't think that's his new book. No, I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, that would be a, that could be an issue, yes. Not when we met. <laughs> Michelle? His cat. His cat. Well, last chance. Then. Men. Men. Oh, oh, my goodness. I thought it was a great answer, but it wasn't. What it was due. It was due. However, so, you, I'm afraid you did not win this game. We'll come back to Martin in a minute. Come on out here. You were entitled to more consolation prizes on the prize desk afterwards. And of course, you get a lovely party gift. A lovely party gift. This is the Yes, and our thanks for the and our thanks for the two of you appearing on our show. Thank you. Do. So long. All right, Martin, did you get your good chance? And before we go into the bonus round, those people can come in. Come on through. It's all right. Okay, we need to go to the hotel and we'll out on the on the uh, space. It's over there, thank you. Okay. Okay, first, turn and face, who still has prizes? Okay, who would you like to turn it out? Let's go with Maggie. Maggie, open that up and let's find out what the prize is this time. Maggie said matching. This is a good show. Yes, this is this. A cargo cult gift certificate. Turn around. A cargo cult gift certificate. Lisa? Cargo cult gift certificate. A $20 gift certificate to the cargo cult in the dealer's room. Hey, Craig. That's right. Okay. Oh, I forgot to go with the prize. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's, I, I, 
Yes, estimated, the estimated, uh, the estimated value of this $20 certificate is $15. I wish I had thought of that. Very good. Okay. Again, no help from the audience. This must be an exact match. Blank Island. Blank Island. Blank Island. Thank you. Well, Michael, uh, introduce yourself to our audience. 
Oh, oh there you go. Oh, that's just how many Western Province I've been here at least the third match game. Oh, well, great! Wonderful. Hey, you haven't been a contestant before yet, have you? I have. You have? And, in fact, and in fact, the last time you did the show, I was up on the Oh, that's right. right now. Yes, I get so confused. <laughs> Linda, you have also been a panelist before. You are I, 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 an emergency panelist, but unfortunately we haven't needed that. Introduce yourself to us, please. I'm Linda Dillaroff. I'm doing registration for this convention. Yes, and it's, and it's because of her that we have we have these lovely readable badges. So, Michael, as the first draw, you get the first choice, A or B. Let's go with B. B. Everybody plays. Godzilla was seeing a therapist. He said. People don't understand me. I don't want to stomp on Tokyo. It's that I just have to blank. Godzilla was seeing a therapist. He said, people don't understand me. I don't want to stomp on Tokyo. It's just that I have to blank. just that I have to dance. I just have to dance. Okay, let's see. I just have to dance. Kevin. Yeah. Oh, 
Ninja. I don't know, we don't know what that was about. You really weren't supposed to do that, I suspect, but okay, fine. If we ever see him again, we'll find out what he was doing taking on the ice from our underperforming ice machines. Okay, well, at, at, at the end of the game, the score, at the end of the main game, the score is tied. And what we do there is we wipe the score. So reset, re, reset your scores down to zero. All of your score cards turn around to face the, uh, the black side out. Oh, there's no more color side. Color side toward you. Oh, okay. I can do two more. I can see that. We did it with the last, so we come back to Michael for the choice there. We, gotta remember, we haven't had a tie game for a while, so I have to remember the mechanics. Okay. 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 Then we can't tie this, so it does come back to Linda again. You're right about that. Okay, so the choice comes back to Linda for the tie. This is a one round tie match. A or B? Oops. B. Everybody plays on the tie break. Okay, this is a question from Dune. Did you hear that Duncan Idaho died? In his will, he left everything to play. Duncan Idaho died, and in his will, he left everything to blank. And it's 
were the last one in and you were the last one, or the first one out in this game. But thank you, and again, thank you for all the hard work you've done for us on the convention. Um, I'm sure she made this, but I mean, all of that great stuff. Every one of you had to interact with her, she's been really great. And she's had to put up with me as her boss. Yeah, I, she, yeah, I, I, no, I'm not kidding. Uh, that's a lovely party gift. Thank you, everyone, for letting us in on. Come on over to the X. There are two final, two left. Have a look. You can pick one, pick one of the two. Kevin. Kevin Adam Murphy, what are we playing for?
all of us too have been real good sports. And you, the audience, because without you, without you, we'd be talking to ourselves. And I want to thank all of the people, some of them named in the credits, starting with Lisa, and all the other people who helped us, helped us put together the stage, put together all the, all the material here, made the tech happen, made the magic happen. That's who the people were doing the hard work. I just stand up here and talk. I never forget about it. Thank you. So until next time, which may or may not be a Western House 75, it's up to you. Well, that's your choice, not mine. Okay. So apparently, until our next, until next time, which is probably going to be a Western Con 75 in Anaheim. This is Kevin Stanley from HMSF saying, "Good night, everybody."